have no clue about the technical things. So they are given some uh, funda by some technical people and they fight saying that this is the correct number. So it's a dog eat dog. You cheat, you cheat someone, someone cheats you, both of you cheat someone else. So it's a it's a chain of cheating. And that's Sir, another, uh, how the concern of getting government approvals is uh, taken care of in self Yeah, the same way as the builder's approval is, no builder goes to take approval from any government agency because if the builder personally were to go to take approval of the agency, he would have to pay so much bribe that his project would never take off. So, Builder appoints a person called a liaison architect and the liaison architect is a person who gets approval from the builders. Similarly, here also we have appointed liaison architects and the liaison architect does exactly all the permission and we have milestones fixed for him and wherein as and when he gets the permissions, we give him the payment according. We check the permission and take the payment as per decided by the contract. And we have had no issues with them. Okay. So, sir, just to understand the society will have one consultant who will interact with all the consultants? Or no, no. Who... That depends. There are various models that different societies have different kind of models. Some place it's the architect who interacts with the society. Then there is a liaison architect. Architect himself as a structural consultant. They look after between liaison architect and structural consultant. The tools are taken care of. If it's a larger space, then we appoint a PMC. If it's a smaller building, then sometimes the architect does the work of the PMC for a percentage or two more. So there are various people and uh, in some cases, if the cooperative society can't, doesn't have the bandwidth, they appoint some uh, project manager uh, in the sense an individual whom they interview, uh, uh, a good engineer who does the coordination and gets a salary per month. Okay. Okay. So the ecosystem, full-fledged ecosystem is available with different variations depending on the need and the size of the society. Of course, because, because an architect wants work. You know, when an architect works, works with the developer, he's unhappy. He's unhappy because the developer doesn't permit his creativity to be exploited to the best extent. He says, Charo taraf, itna, jitna bhi space chhodna hai, Government ke niyams ke nuzar utna chodo, baki jo bachta hai uspe building thok dalo. Wherein no architect worth his salt would ever stand by his building and take his picture because he knows that planning wise it's disastrous. So here the architect in self development can get a scope to design well because he can interact with the people. Normally it's like uh, playing blind in a game of flush. Architect doesn't know who he is designing. He's just making buildings and uh, then people come in. Here we know who the people who we are designing. So architect speaks to every individual member and understands from him his requirements and takes collective requirements as a group and designs. So architecturally even design wise it's better and it's more creative. So architect is happy because he gets paid on time, builder never pays on time. Structural engineer is happy because he can churn out better quality construction. When he does the structural design for the builder, he's not too sure whether the contractor is using the correct material and the builder will never allow him to interfere between him and the contractor because there are a lot of hera in accounts is happening. The contractor is also happy because he he can churn out good quality buildings without uh, because he doesn't have to give money to the builder uh, on the sly. And here there is a cooperative society. So if he wants, he can churn out good buildings which he can showcase as a good quality construction. So different societies have different models, but they are all managed through professionals. So it is in a way a win-win for the professionals, the architect, and certainly a much better, bigger plat for the society members 
and the quality is assured. See, larger area than what any builder can give, better planning than what any builder can give, better quality construction than any uh, builder can give. And most important, there is a guarantee that you will get the flat because you are not giving power of attorney for someone not knowing when he'll just migrate and go to some Caribbean island and settle there with your money. So here you are in control and you decide on everything and more corpus so that your maintenance is free. No builder scheme gives that. So there is a question from Samir Sangvi that if 50% of the society members agree to pay for the whole construction cost, can they be allotted the saleable area? So that general body will have to decide. See, in, in the self-development, it's general body which decides. General body first has to, the process is very simple. You have to work out the full cost of the project. You have to work out what rate you are going to sell. You have to work out how much portion you have to sell for recovering the full cost, including rent, including whatever, including whatever corpus that you give, which is much more than what builder would give you. And then from the remain, the remaining will be divided amongst the uh, members uh, on pro rata basis if there are different size of flats or if they are same size then on equal basis. And the uh, residents get a better deal. Now, instead of getting money from the uh, from the bank or uh, investor, if uh, if some members want to invest, uh, there is a model which can be worked out for that. But the 50% of the members can't be a developer. The developer becomes a society and profit is shared by the society. The members can get surplus area at a discounted price, which they can later sell. Absolutely. So in substance, it has to be a redevelopment and cannot in the garb of the 50%, as you said, become the developer by buying the... Then it is, then it is a developer model. Then it is not a self-development. Self-development model is a model where all the members of the society are equal and share equal. If you don't have money, then you don't have to pay any money. You get a free, free flat and a corpus. If you have money, then you can buy more area at a discounted price later, sell that area. Either way, it is uh, a win-win situation. Yes, sir. sir, there is a GST question that uh, what will be the transaction value for the levy of GST under this redevelopment model? Whether TDR issue will arise or... No, no. The GST... Uh, in the redevelopment model has been fixed. Now for self-redevelopment model, the government has taken a decision. There is a GR on 13th September 2019. Its implementation has not been done, uh, but the cabinet has resolved that its implementation will be done from now onwards, wherein the, the state part of the GST for only for self-development schemes would be waived. Okay, okay. So, uh, one more incentive for opting oh, for... No, that is, that is not alone. 10% more FSI than uh, what any builder would get comes for self-development. That is one. If the society takes loan from a bank, 4% of the interest paid to the bank comes as subsidy from the government to the bank directly. So, member, if, uh, for instance, Mumbai Bank, we took a loan at 12.5%, but the members will have to return back only 8.5%, the 4% comes from the government. Then all the premiums to be paid to the government, various premiums, open spaces deficiency, premium for balconies, premium for staircase, premium for uh, common passages, all, whatever the builder pays, we uh, will get 50% discount. Then uh, uh, we will get stamp duty ex exemption only for self-development schemes. We will get the GST discount uh, and 
main thing, we'll get a one window system. One window system is every organization which gives the approval will have a senior IAS officer sitting there. We go and submit all our papers to him. He is responsible for getting all the approval and giving us the approval. So we don't have to go to the 60 tables that is there, the one window system. And within three months, all the permissions if uh, are not given, they will be deemed to have been given. Sir, this policy is already in place, already functioning or would be in yeah, place? Yeah, the policy is already in place 13 September 2019. If you can type GR on self-development, you can read it. It's a government resolution which is there. The, the day this policy was made, uh, 13 September 2019, elections were held and after that, there was a turmoil, then the new government came, then there was problem, now that government has gone. So all these issues, so implementation was not started. It has started partially. For instance, MADA has already set up a one-window cell. They have appointed a deputy chief engineer in charge of the one-window. All the permissions in MADA colonies are brought by that one-window the self-development society doesn't have to go anywhere. Uh, they have to only go to this one window uh, uh, person and they have to interact with them. So that's what is happening. So there are a lot of things that have uh, been agreed and given. A lot of things not yet, but now the cabinet in the last uh, assembly, uh, the chief minister and deputy chief minister uh, announced that all the points in the GR will not only be implemented, new points will be added and uh, uh, all facilities will be started as per the GR. So this will even significantly improve the benefits yeah. one derives from. Uh, yeah, yeah. And the ease as well, one window clearance. Uh, yeah. Sir, there is a question that uh, whether a tenanted building uh, can go for a self redevelopment model? Yes. If the tenants get together, form a proposed cooperative housing society, there are two ways in which they can go. One way is they give an offer to the landlord that look, instead of selling your building to the builder, we will buy the building from you and sell it to us. Whatever the builder would have given, whatever terms and conditions, we will fulfill those terms and conditions. And we will be the owner and uh, we will better the condition. The builder were to give you 50 crores, we may give you 50 crore plus. So we will see that you don't go into, uh, I mean, you get more profits than what the builder. That is one model. Second model is that the uh, they give a offer to the landlord that let's do it together. So the landlords and the tenants get together and both decide that we are going for self-development and that there is no builder here. We will all uh, share the profits amongst ourselves and uh, so the landlord benefits the tenant also. Benefits. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for your insights and answering all the questions. Any other question? You are only asking questions. Any no, questions sir, I'm, reading, I'm reading from various Q&A box and chat box.